Hello and welcome back. This is Bridge Design Cloud, a leader in asset management solutions. We're going to spend the next few minutes navigating the Fury Launchpad. At the very top, we have two icons there. We have the SAP icon, the home icon. If you click on the home icon, it gets you to a group of apps on the left hand side. If you click on any of those groups, for example, employee, you have my inbox, personalization, you have request maintenance and monitor maintenance requests as some of the apps. If you move on to organization, you have create work center. The other app is change work center, display work center, maintain business partner. And a technical object, we have several apps there, find your technical objects, we have create technical object, we have display technical objects, and other apps such as maintain bill of materials and display functional location bomb. Other groups are notification, we have corrective maintenance, order, resource scheduling, and even technician as a group of apps. Under that, we have display job list, confirm jobs, and perform maintenance jobs. So going back to the main page here, if you click on the SAP icon, you have the same groups at the top. And then under that, you have the tiles. The first one is my inbox, personalization. You have request maintenance and monitor maintenance request tile. Organization, we have the same apps that we saw earlier. Create Work Center, Change Work Center, Display Work Center, and Maintain Business Partner. So moving on to technical objects, under these you have Find your technical objects, display master data, create technical object, change technical object. You also have display technical objects, maintain bill of materials, display equipment bomb and display functional location bomb. Moving on to notification, we have several tiles here. We have your FIDE maintenance notification tile, my maintenance requests, creating maintenance notification. You have other tiles such as display, maintenance notification, managing your notification, edit go code groups, display code groups, and other tiles such as maintain your catalog profile. Under corrective maintenance, we have three main tiles there. The first one is report malfunction. We have management function re malfunction report and repair malfunctions. Under order, we have a lot of quite a number of tiles find maintenance order and operations display maintenance order we have find or manage maintenance order list schedule material availability check maintenance planning overview maintenance backlog overview and several other tiles too, or apps, such as managing teams and responsibilities. So now moving on to resource scheduling. Under this group of apps, you have resource scheduling for maintenance planners, manage schedules, you have maintenance scheduling board, you have assigned maintenance order operations and manage schedules. Under technician, you have three apps there, display job list for that 
particular technician can farm jobs and perform maintenance jobs. That is what a technician sees under that group. Then we have task lists. We have find maintenance task, find maintenance item, create task lists, display task list, create maintenance plan, change maintenance plan, display maintenance plan, and also an app on maintenance strategies. A few other additional tabs or tiles for apps we have uh, scheduling overview. We have mass schedule for maintenance planners. And the inspection checklist group, we have simulated checklist, checklist results, create checklist, checklist usage decisions, and maintaining checklist characteristics. We also have the quality management and that year we have a display inspection plan, manage inspection plan, managing inspection lots, which are different from the plans, and also inspection lot analysis. This is where you get some analytics on the inspection plans that you have. Another important group is the purchasing. And under this, we have manage purchase requisitions, create purchase orders, manage purchase orders, manage service entry sheets, and also post goods received as some of the common apps there. For documents, we have of documents and uh, measurements. We have create measurement document for technical objects. We have cancel PM order confirmation, post-processing incorrect confirmations. And then now moving on to the damage codes. We have technical object breakdown, technical object damages, actual cost analysis, and a few others there. So if you go to the user icon, you can change on the settings, you can change the appearance of your login screen. You can change to these different colors that we're showing on the right hand side. And also be able to sign out if you go to user and then sign out. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.